it is my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And I am about to go into work. I actually got here pretty late today. Um, but I don't mind because if you can't come in late for your birthday, when can you come in late? <laughs> But no, uh, we don't have like set time to be here at work. We choose our hours basically, which is a blessing. Um, just as long as we make our, you know, our hours for the pay period. Um, so yeah, I'm blessed about that. But I am usually here literally like an hour and a half before now. Um, but I was like, no, I'm just going to come in late today. And um my kids and everybody, they sung me a happy birthday song. I'm so excited. And I even have on a dress, y'all. I got on a dress. I don't typically wear dresses to work, but I was like, oh, it's my birthday. I want to wear something special. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, so I think I'm just gonna like take the little snips of my day. Uh, I have a full day today. Actually, the calendar, my work calendar is full. And I'm just like, listen here, y'all. Somebody didn't get the message that today is my birthday. I don't wanna sit in meetings all day. Um, but I'm actually happy that I'm going to go pick up my car. My car was in the shop, y'all. That's a whole story, which I will quickly tell so i have been getting a low coolant message on my dashboard and when i took it into the jaguar dealership this was last year sometime took it into them and they said oh you know sometimes if it gets below the three quarters level then it'll you know give that alert of low coolant so all you got to do is just buy some coolant and just top it off so i bought the right coolant and y'all i'm not afraid of uh auto repairs i'm not afraid of getting my hands dirty so that was no big deal for me so i was like okay i'll just go buy some coolant and topped it off right and then um so it lasted you know it went on for a while and then i started getting the coolant message again coolant low message again and i was like wait what i don't think it should be going out you know maybe once a year it should get low and then i top it off but it's only been like a few months. And so why am I seeing this coolant message? Y'all, after I was taken, I took Caleb to the um, doctor the other day. On the way back home, we on the highway. And of course, I see that low coolant message. But then I saw a message that I had never seen before and says, uh, pull over. Or no, it didn't say pull over. It says your engine may be overheating. So I knew from ex from like experience you know back in the day yo yo daddy or whoever teach you that if your engine is overheating you need to pull over and let your car cool your engine um cool down so that's what i did we were on the highway i pulled over let the engine cool down and then i took the street way for the rest of the time home you know because the streets you're not revving up your engine to a high mile per hour to a higher speed um and so revolutions per minute you know what i'm saying and so i was like okay i'm just gonna take the streets thank you jesus i took the streets home nothing else happened got home called the dealership and she was like yeah i don't even think you should drive it in to drop it off i think that you should have it towed here i was like what towed so praise god i have AAA, and they towed my car in that night and then i didn't receive a phone call like i i anyway long story short i had to do a lot in order to actually get to the dealership where i could see them face to face right i want to talk to you in your face <laughs> to find out what's going on with my car but after that long day, I was still working like remotely. Then thank God for my sister. She took me to go um, get my license renewed because today is my birthday and your license expires after 
every four years or something like that. So I knew that I needed to get a rental car at some point in time, but I couldn't get a rental car and keep it if my license was going to expire in the middle of this whole ordeal. So I was like, okay, let me go and get my license renewed. She took me to get my license renewed. Then we went to pick up Caleb because he had to go to work that day. So we had to pick him up from school because uh, the school bus, anyway, the school bus doesn't get him home in time enough for him to just go straight to work and be on time. So we went to go pick him up. Then she went and took me to get my rental car. Then I drove to the Jaguar dealership. They said they hadn't diag diagnosed anything yet. Um, they did receive my car from the tow people but they hadn't diagnosed anything yet. They're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. I was like, okay, so you're not going to hear anything until Monday. Well, praise God, I did hear something yesterday. And the way the, uh, the way Jaguars are set up, they have two coolant tanks. They have a large main one, and then they have a secondary smaller one. It's the secondary smaller one that was experiencing the leakage. I knew it had to be a leak. Somewhere there was a leak. <laughs> There's a leak in this old building and my soul. <laughs> anyway, um, so, so yeah, so it was a leak and y'all, I don't even want to tell y'all the price that is good, that is costing to get the small radiator fixed. The small one. <laughs> the small radiator is some money but praise god that i have it not extra not oh i just have it i have it praise god to to get my car fixed but y'all know you have plans for your money that you're trying to save you got plans for it like I'm trying to save this little bit for a reason. I didn't, I just, but you know, God knows everything. So you know what? The lesson in all this is praise the Lord because he knew that this was going to happen before I did. And he allowed me to have this amount of money, um, this little bit amount of money that I'm trying to save as a good steward. But he allowed me to be able to have that, to be able to pay for my car to be repaired because y'all know I can't do anything without my car. I mean, we all are kind of at that stage where, yes, we have Uber, but you know, most of us travel, like I commute to work. There's no way that I can depend on my husband to take me to work every day. You know, you need your car to, with your kids, you know, it's just a necessity. It really is. And the Lord knows that. So you know, I just praise him because in all things, give thanks. Seriously, in all things, give thanks. He knew that this was going to happen and he has made a way for me to get my car repaired and uh, for everything to work out. So, you know, it's no sense in stressing about it. No sense in stressing about it because God has you and he's faithful. That's what I keep telling myself because I know it's true. I know it's true. So I know that this was longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a quick in and out. Happy birthday. But I'm going to go into work now um, and get some tea or some coffee or something like that. And then I will check in later. We have Bible study tonight. Um, so we'll be going to Bible study. So, all right. See y'all later. Bye. Hey, you guys. So I'm off work and now the next destination is to return this rental car. Um, so I'm going to meet my husband at the rental car place, return this car and praise the Lord. They said that they would reimburse me for the days that I have not, uh, you know, driven this car. So I had this reserved until Friday, but today is Tuesday and they're going to take off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and give it back to me hallelujah retribution okay thank you refund whatever you want to call it <laughs> thank you lord and then i'm gonna go to the dealership and pay for my car to be returned back to me for my birthday i'm paying for my car for my birthday thank you jesus as i said earlier it's a blessing thank you god so um, and then later on, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, we'll probably just grab something to eat because I ain't cooking today. 
So I'm gonna grab something quick to eat and then we'll all go to Bible study. All right, just wanted to check in. See y'all. There's no denying that. But with perseverance, the right attitude, and support is necessary, it is not too hard. Kids will be able to do it. Uh, next, we're gonna shift gears. So we're gonna have some of our parents come up and talk about their experience with their child who are taking AP classes right now. We'll have the parents come up. Um, we've got a couple questions that we'll ask them, and then we'll move forward to the uh, next phase of the presentation. December, January is the time to kind of sit down, review everything, answer questions, uh, and things like that. We also encourage them to talk to their teachers, um, because a lot of the teachers... <laughs> Joshua to take photos of me for my birthday so that I can make a reel. Because the mashed potatoes just tasted like something mixed with water. And second of all, the turkey just just tasted like ham. <laughs> Third of all, they tried to baptize uh, the, the mashed potatoes and the turkey because there was so much there was so much gravy on it. I had to get five I had to get five paper towels just to clean off two the two slaps of turkey. <laughs> I was like, that that's a lot of water you taking into. So they gave you a Thanksgiving feast and now you're you're flossing your teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, what else what about the Thanksgiving feast did you like? Did you like anything about it? No. What else did you guys have besides mashed potatoes and turkey? A, a small piece of corn. Look. If this was the size of the cornbread, cut this box in half. That was the size of the cornbread. <laughs> and and take you see this? Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, make it ten times bigger. I mean, five times bigger. That's how big the cranberry sauce was. Oh, so it was trash. <laughs> I give I give that a one out of ten. What would Gordon Gordon Ramsay say? This is unbelievable. I wouldn't even serve my own child of uh, this disgusting slop. That's what he would say. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, you guys. So this is uh, several days after my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I just keep forgetting that everything is content. So I just need to be aware and start recording. What I'm doing now, this is one of my off days. Um, and so I had planned though to do like a few things work-wise at home. 
and um, even though this is my off day, I still need to like do some things and to study and things like that. So, um, but then as I was cleaning up the kitchen table, I realized that my boy left his, or first of all, didn't do his homework, didn't complete his homework. And so I called him, he was on the bus and I was like, Joshua, you know, you didn't do your homework. And this is why we shouldn't wait to the last minute. And this is why I tell you that we have to be organized. And this is why I, every time I say, let's do homework, you gotta blah, blah, you know, so I was giving him the mommy business. And yes, mommy, yes, I understand, I understand. So I told him, I said, well, I'll just finish it for you. <laughs> so it was just like a coloring thing where they have to know like the different parts of the, of grammar, you know, like what is an adverb, what is a noun and all that. And he knows that. Um, but I just didn't want him to get a zero. So I finished it up for him, coloring. And um, I called him and I was, well, I told him, I'll just bring it up to your school. So that's where I'm coming from. I just dropped off his assignment, his homework assignment. Uh, and, uh, you know, now I'm headed back home so I can do my, my work. And I'm just telling y'all, it's this is... I'm sure other moms have gone through this <laughs> and are still going through this. So uh, I just got to remember to record these funny moments. Um, so, all right, see y'all later, bye. Hey, I'm in the car line picking up my uh, high schooler from school um, because on certain days I don't have to work. Um, the certain days that I don't have to work or if I'm able to get off work early, then I will pick him up from school, uh, especially if he has to go to work um, because that will allow him uh, to get home, wash up, eat something, and then he can go on to work and be there on time. So I was trying to record and hopefully when he gets in the car, he'll let me show you guys. You know how teenagers are. Sometimes they don't want to be recorded. Y'all, look at this thing on my head. So, of course, I didn't do anything to my hair today because I haven't been anywhere. I've been working from home. And uh, I did, like, spritz it with some water, but that stuff has dried up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so what I can do is record a little bit later because... I'm going out with one of my girlfriends. Yes, girl. I'm going out. Where I'm going out? I'm going out just to a restaurant. Um, one of my long time friends, ever since I moved here um, in the Chicagoland area with my husband, shortly after we became friends because her husband was a pastor. My husband is a pastor and um we just hit it off you know she's such a sweet person very very nice and calm and quiet spirit but you know you just hit it off with certain people and so her birthday is in november uh as well as mine and so we always try to celebrate somehow with each other well we basically have been doing that faithfully for the last I don't know I would say like seven years maybe ten years um, because she is actually Joshua's godmama um, and so ever since then ever since Joshua was born I think we tried to you know like keep in contact to keep a close bond um, even if it's just once a year y'all know how life is life is just where everybody is busy we're doing an adult thing and she doesn't live close like she lives in the city i live like in the suburbs and so um where is this boy now they've been out of school for like six minutes he need to come on uh anyway so so yeah so i'm going out with her just to a little restaurant nothing extravagant we're not I'll probably just put on a nice blouse or something like that and some jeans, maybe. But it's just real chill. And uh, so yeah, so then maybe I will, I feel like I'm always recording in the car. <laughs> uh, but you know, I will show y'all kind of like how, what I'm gonna do. I'll probably, you know, like, of course I'm gonna do something to my hair. I'm not going to the restaurant like this. And then I will, I'll probably put on a little bit of makeup and 
all that stuff. So I'll record later. I'm trying to remember. Record, record, record. Y'all seeing me real raw. I have no makeup on this head. <laughs> but God is good. Praise God. Bye. Oh, here he is. Why? Why do you do this? Hi, Caleb. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. That's what all the directors Hi, say. Caleb. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> Why are you hiding? Because I want to hide. How was school today? It was good. It was great. Why God you... is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Oh, praise God. God. Drive, me Drive me home, please. <laughs> I got work. Yes, I, I know. Work. Okay, bye.